going on, Uncle Force? Welcome back to the Watching with McQueen Channel, man. Yes, sir. We are back, man. It's the, almost the end of the week. And, and you know what? Happy Thanksgiving, man. All right? I'm over here in Miami right now. You know what I'm saying? So I can't. I'm not with my family. So McQueen will be chilling in the crib tonight. You know what I'm saying? On Thanksgiving for the first time in my life. Okay? And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Don't feel sorry for me. And if, if you didn't already not feel sorry for me. But regardless of that, I wish every single one of you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Okay? So, with all that being said, man, we have a very interesting video here on this Thanksgiving, man. Diamond Flawless has officially been released from Arkham Asylum. And since being released, it looks like she's in very great shape now. Mentally, spiritually, physically. She looks very beautiful. Okay? I'm very happy for her. Okay? Because we all know what happened in back in the day. You know what I'm saying? She was going Super Saiyan on top of a car and telling the whole neighborhood that you will feel my pain. You don't know my pain. You guys don't understand my pain. You'll feel my pain. That was a crazy moment. Okay? <laughs> the title is King Sid. Get help. Oh my God, whoa. Well, King Sim just can't catch a break, can you? Can we leave the poor Tiki head alone? Come on, I feel like he's had enough. But listen to me, I understand. You know, you feel like you have something to say. You have a very extensive, deep history with King Sim, okay? So I totally understand you want to get your words out and I respect that. And that's what we're gathered here today to do. So let's go ahead and watch. I wasn't the last person that he's put his on. I want to do this. I told him I can't do this no more. And as soon as I said that, he took both of his hands, put it around my neck. He literally shoved me up against the wall, like choking me again so hard I could not breathe. It's very dramatic music, you know, for such a serious topic. You know, something as serious as getting choked up against the wall by a tiki head, you know, you would think that it would be such a cartoony transition noise. You know? Like a Tubi suspense movie. Woo! Hey guys, it's your girl. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda liked how those jitties bounced when she sat down. Woo! Hey guys, it's your girl Diamond Flawless. I miss you guys. I know I get messages all the time that you guys miss me. I miss you too. The feelings are mutual. And some of you guys are OG day one supporters and have watched me grown from high school through I mean, you, I, you've definitely grown. You know? Definitely grown. I see a lot. Uh, you look very well. You look like you're, you're in great spirits, okay? Look like you've been doing your squats, okay? You look very good. I'm very happy for you, Diamond Flawless. College to now to this day where I'm sitting here and a lot of things have happened, a lot of things have changed and you guys have watched me evolve and I love you guys and miss you guys and I hope you guys know that. So protecting my peace is my number one priority. So initially when everyone has been asking me to come out with my side of the story of what he's done to me. I never felt obligated to for the fact that I've already explained my story four years ago when it did happen. It's happened to more women that he's, he's done it to and they came out with their sides of the story. And it's that This is truly surviving King Sid. This is truly surviving King Sim. Do I get to make an appearance in the documentary King Sim? I would love to get my words out, you know what I'm saying? Have my little monologue and explain the history that we've gone through together, you know, the times where I've been there to support you and also being there through the times where you had such a switch in that big ass tiki head of yours. It was like a switch went off and everything we had been through just didn't mean nothing to you no more. And now you're out here strangling bitches. Where did it all go wrong? It's sad to me that there's more victims and he has not changed from four years ago. I wasn't the last person that he's put his on. As some of you guys may or may not know, I was a victim of abuse when I was in a relationship with King Sid four years ago. I came out with my story on how he chose me and put his hand on me and was aggressive with me multiple times. Some people believed my story, some people didn't. He came out with his story covering his tracks and making up other things that would basically make me look like I'm just talking to defend myself and making making it up. Today, many other girls have came out and spoke on their sides of the story and their dealings and personal experiences they've had with him and a lot of them are similar to what I have gone through. I've healed from this trauma and... Very good. Very good. Very good. I'm very happy for you that you've healed from this trauma. Okay. A lot of people need to take the steps that you had the initiative to take. Very happy for you, Diamond Flawless. I would love to keep hearing what you have to say. I feel from the trauma, the emotional, mental, physical, spiritual, <laughs> all of the trauma from it. For the most part, I feel a lot and um, made peace with the situation. 
you know, um, I've forgiven, but I haven't forgotten. And it just hurts me to know that other women had to deal with the same thing I had to deal with from him. And he did not stop or learn and change for the better. It's true. I'm so happy that I was able to come out on the other end and be here today. Like, I'm, I'm so glad that you made it on the other side, too. Okay. Welcome to the bright side, Diamond Flawless. Okay. You went from a straight jacket to seeing the light. Welcome. I'm so grateful and thank God that I'm here today, literally. Like, I just, it's, it's a miracle. It's just the only way I'm, the only way I'm here today is, is God. That's all I can say. It's very true. All thanks to the most high, okay? And let that be a lesson for you guys too, all for us, okay? When there are times where that burden is too much of a burden to carry, okay? Because those times do come. There is some times in life where that load is too hard to carry by yourself, okay? Make sure in those times that you just surrender control and let the Lord take care of the things that are out of your control and you focus on being in the moment and only focusing on what you are control of in this realm. Things that are out of your control, ask yourself, am I in control of this? And if the answer is no, then ask yourself right after that, then why am I worrying about it? If you cannot control something, answer me why you would waste time on stressing about it. Ask yourself that. Very happy for time to follow this. In a domestic violence relationship, there's always a perpetrator and a victim. If the perpetrator lacks a guilty conscience and doesn't think they've done wrong and in denial, they won't know to, speak help, to seek help for it. Therefore, there's going to be other victims that they do it to. So it took four years for this to have happened to many other, to multiple other women that he's done it to, for it to come to light. Four years from when I said my story. Now there's other girls that come out and say their stories and it's now being brought to the audience, to you guys, from what's what has been happening behind closed doors of what he's been doing. Those close to him have witnessed his others and it's been exposed to the public recently, not only physically to women, but also emotionally and mental to your friends and family. So with that being said, I strongly encourage you, King said, to seek help so this cycle does not keep repeating itself. Because if you don't seek help, you're only not going to heal, but you're going to keep causing pain to others. And it brings it breaks my heart to know that there's more victims that have endured and had to go through the same thing that I had to go through. And my heart goes out to them, and I wish I wish a healthy recovery for them. So I agree with King Sim. Are you repeating or are you healing? Are you repeating or are you healing? It's gonna be a cycle, whoa. Just like Diamond Flawless said, a very important person in your timeline of life, King Sim. I love how she's being gentle. You can tell she's healed from it. Okay. You could tell she's healed. You could tell she's a lot more mature. You could tell she's a lot more at peace. And I love that for her. I really do. And she's speaking to you so softly. Not threatening at all, King Sim. I think you should take her advice. Okay? You're going to repeat the cycle. Don't lose your mind. This should be a learning lesson to everyone to not be dismissive of someone's reported reports and to listen to the victim's side of the story always. As a victim, it takes a lot to speak up mainly because a lot of people don't want to hear your truth but i'm telling you right now and i'm standing here right now healed healthy happy and i've been through it so if you if anyone out there is ha, is going through it or has gone through it i just want to tell you you can get out if a man loves you he will not put his hands on you a man that loves you does not i literally have this one, so oh my gosh a man that loves you does not put his Okay? Very true. Point blank, period. You deserve better than that, okay? Ladies, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Okay, well, listen to me. While that's true, okay, I do want to point out, all right, let's not sit here and just act like your actions from a few years ago were just justified. Standing on the car, quick walking, while yelling, profusely, going super saiyan, spitting on people, all types of crazy stuff, okay? Now, I do agree. I'm very happy that you got out of that toxic relationship with King Sim, okay? And I do also encourage women to never accept that type of behavior. However, if that was a man standing on top of the car, threatening the entire neighborhood, he's gonna do this, and y'all don't feel my pain, spitting on people, and doing all types of weird ass stuff, if that was a man, everyone would say that he needs help, 
and he's sick and he's to be canceled and he needs therapy. That's what they would tell him. So while I do agree, and I am happy for you that you are healed. That still takes some accountability. Because we are equal, right? You guys, there's equality, correct? I mean, as long as that's what the last time I checked, it was equality, right? Unless y'all are willing to admit that we're not equal. Oh, you're not? Oh, hey, just point that out there. And it can really make a difference whether a victim is believed or not, especially on their mental well-being and emotionally well-being. It takes a lot to even get through the pain of what the gone through so even having this have this to have the strength to stand up and speak about it is 10 times harder 10 times harder <laughs> although sometimes people do falsely accuse others of make sure you guys investigate a situation and listen to a listen to both sides so you guys know because most times they're not just speaking up and making detailed stories for no reason i don't know about most times I don't know about most times, okay? But, like I said, I do agree that there are a lot of terrible situations that have not truly been brought to justice, and I'm very empathetic to that. But let's not sit here and say most of the times, because a lot of times, girls be capping because they're upset with a scorned woman. Always investigate a situation before you guys form an opinion. Trust me, guys, we're all human, and there's a lot of things that some people can take and others can't. And a man that puts his hands on you is most likely a narcissist, they're calm, cool, collective, and they feel no remorse. They know what they do, but they don't feel no remorse. And they, that is why they have to try to feel something, to heal and to change. Because if they don't, that is what drives the to feel, they go through so much physically, emotionally, and to feel crazy. They almost look crazy, they look unstable because the narcissist is just cool, calm, collective, and as if nothing ever has ever happened. It's true. So being a victim of it and hearing other girls' stories, I know, like, it's so hard to deal with. It's just, it's, so, it's a hard thing to deal with. Never dismiss it. As being on the side, the survivor side, it is so hard to deal with. I'm telling you, when someone is doing something to you and they just have no care or remorse, they might say sorry, they might throw you... They might throw you um, an apology with flowers. They did might give you flowers because that's what had happened to me. Okay. After the situation, the day after he brought me flowers, like nothing ever happened. That's crazy. King said you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be goddamn ashamed of yourself, T. You know, like you get sucked back into something that does not even make it doesn't make sense because they make you feel like it's okay and it's not okay. They not think it's okay and they may, they try to make you seem like. It's okay, and you're just you're you're crazy. But let me tell you, ladies, even men too, both sides. No one should be putting their hands on you. Yep. No one should be disrespecting your personal space like that. If someone respects you and loves you, they will not will not try to harm you in it's any true. shape or form. It's true, especially physically. You speaking that facts, girl. You speaking those goddamn facts. Okay, looking like a real facts machine right now. A thick, curvy, X machine. And being a female and a woman, we don't have as much strength as the men, as the man. We don't. And I also want to say, anyone that has been a victim of that telling your story can save and help so many people. Never feel like, I can't tell my story, or it's just, you. your story might save someone. Save someone out of a relationship, save someone out of, save someone's life. So sharing is caring and telling your story is so brave and I commend anyone that has been able to do it as I have. And I also watched Nate and Jill's video where basically Nate was saying that he believed King said Jason because that was his friend and he defended him. But until he witnessed it himself, then he realized King said was wrong all along and lied about putting his on me. So that's just an example of like, being biased because, you know, maybe it's someone that you're close to or someone you may look up to, like his audience looked up to him as a YouTuber, so they can't believe that he would ever do something so terrible and put his hands on a woman. And so he repeats himself and keeps doing it over and over. And to my ex, King said, Jason, I really wish you well and I hope that you take what I said and my advice of getting help and taking time to change and taking accountability and actions. I hope you take the advice 
and do something with it, seriously, because... He's, he's unfortunately not going to. Uh, King Simp tends to be a dumbass, you know? That's just what he does, right? But I do want to say this, Diamond Flawless. I'm very, very happy for you. Okay, you seem very healed. You seem very matured. You seem like you're in a great place, like I said earlier in the video. You even glow different, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know I make fun of you, and I know I say a lot of funny things and this and that, but at the same time, I am very happy to see you in a healthy place, mentally, spiritually, physically, okay? And she's right. Even though she did a lot of crazy things in the past, it is sad that it took for this situation to happen. For people to finally believe that he actually was putting his hands on her, you know? It's sad. And I'm very happy that now it's coming to the light. And that's what I was trying to tell you guys a couple videos ago. Make sure you guys are always a good person, even when people aren't looking, because God is always watching, okay? And if you don't believe in the Lord, all right, the universe is always watching, okay? What goes around comes around. Be a good person, because what is done in the dark will come to light. Look at Brother Love, man. Brother Love is in turmoil right now. P. Diddy. It might not be today, it might not be one week, it might not be a year, but eventually what is done in the dark will come to the light. So many people look up to you. You're a public figure. If you just take the accountability and take the time to apologize to all the victims that you emotionally, physically, mentally abused, it can literally inspire so many people. Everyone can maybe try to see that, you know, you can change, you can do wrong. People do wrong and right your wrongs though. You know, you can do wrong, but right your wrongs and try to change, try. So anyways, ladies, remember if a man puts his hand on you, he does not love you. You may be able to forgive them, but do not forget. I've forgiven, I've made my peace and, and kept my distance. I have my boundaries with Jason, but just remember that they do not love you. A man does not love you if he puts his hands on you. He does not care for you. He does not respect you if he can if he can repetitively embarrass you publicly, privately, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. He does not love you. It's true. This is a, it's emotional, mental, physical. It's true. It's very, very true. Okay, ladies, listen to me, man. A lot of you guys tend to have problems when you get into a toxic relationship. You guys have a lot of detachment issues, and you know I'm empathetic to that. Okay, I will never be a female. So I won't ever truly know how it feels to be in that position. But I will say this, please, for the love of God, have respect for yourself enough to get out of that situation early. If it happens, get out of there, leave, have respect for yourself. It may be uncomfortable. It may be very, very hard because you may really love the person. You may be so emotionally and spiritually, physically attached to this person at this point in the relationship, okay? But you have to accept that pain and that uncomfortability for the greater good, okay? delayed gratification because i promise you when you have enough space you talk to some people that you really love through that time like your family or your close friends and you get genuine help even if you go to therapy and with time and space no call no contact you will see that it is the best thing that you could have ever done for yourself heart and i know there's probably a lot of young girls that are watching too never never settle for less because when i tell you that there is men out here that care for you and will never do that to you and that really truly loves you trust me you can do better and you deserve better deserve better we all deserve better as you know don mcfarland i must say that arkham asylum i don't know what you was eating in there but god damn you looking real curvy right now it looks like it's doing really good for you okay it's done you well i must say okay but i'm gonna go ahead and cut you off right there you know what I'm saying? I think we get the gist of this video, all right? I'm very, very happy for you, Diamond Fallers. And I hope you continue to keep healing and growing. And I hope you get everything that you want in this lifetime, okay? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section out before us, okay? Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Do you feel like King Simp is wrong? And if you do, express yourself in the comment section, man. I will see y'all next video. I love you guys to death.